Let's think a little bit more about why an ion chamber is good for dose measurement. Ideally, the dose measurement should happen at a virtual point P. For example, in this figure C here, we have a bucket of water and an AP beam coming in, and we want to know the dose at this point, virtual point P here. Well, in practice, to measure the dose at that point, we need to place a detection device at point P. And in this case, for example, uh, what's shown in figure A is we place an ion chamber at point P for the dose measurement. This raises a few questions. Number one, the ion chamber has a dimension, a volume. It is not a point. Number two, it has an air cavity inside the chamber. So not only it is not a point, by placing the chamber in the water, we introduce an air cavity in the system. So the question becomes, how do we justify figure A relates or equal to figure C? Regarding to dose measurement, how does introduce an air cavity in water relates to obtaining the true dose without the air cavity at a virtual point? Brad Gray cavity theory explains this. So basically, Brad Gray cavity theory tells us that under some circumstances, these two doses are related by this equation. For example, in this case, the true dose at point P in water without the air cavity is proportional to the stopping power ratio of the medium over gas, and in this case, it's the water over air. Notably, this statement is valid only under circumstances such as the air cavity is sufficiently small so that introducing it does not change the number of distribution of the electrons which would exist in the medium without the cavity. So basically, if the existence of the detector does not change the electron fluence, then the ratio of doses equals to the ratio of stopping powers. This is another common useful interpretation of the Bragg Gray cavity theory. The cavity theory is an important foundation of how ionization chamber, despite having dimensions and heterogeneities inside the chamber volume, can still be justified as legit for those measurements. This is also why cavity theory is so important. There are other, also other types of cavity theories, and we will not go into details of each of them.